Good morning students. Welcome back to Clara's Creation. Today we will again study SQ3R method. We are very well familiar with this method. We had studied SQ3R method earlier in first term. We had studied lateral regions under SQ3R method. Here is the explanation of SQ3R method which I had also explained to you while I was uh, teaching natural regions during first term and today SQ3R method we are going to apply in studying civics chapter 4 and 5 fundamental rights part 1 and 2 so you could quickly go through the headings of SQ3R where S stands for survey Q for question R for read R again recite and then you have recall or review S stands for study under S that is stands for study you need to read your textbook thoroughly read the lesson thoroughly and we are going to take your topic uh, fundamental rights part 1 and part 2 that is your six lesson 3 and 4 now how are you going to understand students the concept open your textbooks to page number 76 you will be reading your textbook page number 76 and here I have taken the screenshot. I repeat, I have taken the screenshot where these students, one girl and a boy, is trying to say education is a right. And you have to tell me or you have to define the fundamental right which comes under this particular pictorial image. So what I want to tell you over here is student that it's not always that you know you have to do cramming or parrot learning but you could pictureize it you could use a uh, concept uh, charts you could use pictures and images you don't have to be an artist you could just mentally draw it in your mind you do not require to draw it on a piece of paper now again here I have taken one more screenshot from your textbook again page number 76 we have a right over our forest and its uh, resource and its resources. I'm sorry, I repeat it again. We have a right over our forest and its resources. And the which fundamental right do you think this slogan fits? So when you have to study civics, you require pictorial diagrams. That's one way you can learn it. After having read the textbook, again there is another third image screenshot from your textbook. We must get the assurance of minimum wages. It's all right. Now again, this is one more pictorial image which I have taken it from your textbook. And you have to define the human rights over here. So, here is a concept chart of right to liberty under which we have freedom of speech, freedom of to move freely, freedom to assemble. Freedom of association, freedom to practice our lawful profession. So these are the things that is granted to you under right to freedom or right to liberty. And with the help of these concept charts, you can prepare your answers or you could prepare your brief notes. Right to equality, right to exploitation, right to freedom of religion again this is one more concept chart which will explain you all the human rights now once you've seen these concept charts you can prepare the questions for yourself as it is shown over here explain the following terms write a note on right to liberty now you've seen the concept chart earlier on right to liberty you've seen the screenshots right against exploitation and right to equality based on these images based on these concept charts based on this uh, figures you can prepare your answers so let's quickly recite the three answer read recite and recall thank you i hope you understood it and for a better under understanding of SQ3R method, 
I would advise you all to go through the previous video of SQPR method which gives you a detailed explanation of the concept.